Hello, River of Life Community Fellowship. It is time once again for another midweek check-in. So this last week we talked about how we are chosen by God, how God chooses us and that that's a part of our identity and what it means for us to be chosen, that we are a part of a, a chosen race, that we are um, a royal priesthood, that we are a holy nation, that we are a people for God's own possession and that we get to proclaim the goodness of God to the world and how that is a blessing for us and it's a blessing for the people around us. And, you know, we just, we, we talked about, um, our identity being in Christ and par- how part of that identity means that God has chosen us. But that always, like that idea of being chosen by God always leads to a bigger discussion. And that is what I wanted to talk about today during the midweek check-in here. Um, because there, there's a debate in the church, and this debate has been going on for centuries. Um, it's this idea of whether we are predestined to follow God or whether we have the free will to choose to follow God. You know, the Calvinism and Arminianism is another way of talking about it, the idea of predestination or free will. And um, it, it's a it's a convoluted, hard topic to talk about. And it elicits a lot of emotion in people. And like there have been churches that have split over this. There have been pastors that have been um, fired because of their views on this. And it, it's, it's just, a, it's, it, it's a discussion. And so, you know, being the pastor, I feel like I need to speak into it a little bit. And, you know, the, the question is, do, do we choose God or does he choose us? What happens and how does it work? And, you know, what does it mean for us? And I think, um, you know, just like I said, there, there's two different ways to look at it. You know, or does, does God choose us before the beginning of the world? Are we predestined to choose him or do we have the free will to choose him? And honestly, my take on it, and th- this is my take, this is my opinion. This is the opinion of Richard England. Um, it's my opinion and mine alone, but this is my, my take on it is what does the Bible say? Right. And then that's just what does the Bible say? We see in Ephesians that it says that he, he, he chose us since before the foundation of the world and that we are predestined to be adopted as sons and daughters. Right. So, so Ephesians tells us that we are predestined. And there's a few other, there's other scriptures that kind of point to that same thing that we are chosen before the foundation of the world, that we are chosen before we even realize it. But then there's also scriptures like Joshua 24, 15 that say, choose you now choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. And, you know, um, a few the scriptures like John three sixteen, which says, you know, that all who believe will have eternal life. And, you know, we see in Acts when Peter is given his sermon that, that he says, you know, he gives them this choice, repent and baptize, be baptized. And so like, it seems to be like, you know, in, in these verses, there also seems to be a sense that we have a choice. So what does the Bible say? The Bible says that we are chosen and the Bible says we have a choice. That, that, that's how I see it. And the way I can look at that is I know that God is outside of our flow of time. He sees the end from the beginning. He understands, um, how things are all going to play out. He, he's the creator of time itself. And so he's not constrained by a time like we are, like, we're constrained by this idea of, you know, before creation or now where he's not, he, he's not constrained by that. He is the creator of time. Time is a part of his creation. And so it very well could be that he chose us before creation happened, but at the same time, knowing that we would choose him, that we still have that free will, that we still have that choice. And so, you know, the way, the way I see it is it's, it's both, um, that we are predestined, that God chose us before the foundation of the world. And we get to choose him. We have the choice to choose him. It's not forced on us. It's not decided beforehand. We get to choose whether we choose him or not. And I I think, you know, that that's my take on it. But here, here's, here's the important thing. Here's the important thing. Okay. And this, like, this is the important thing. Whether it is that God chose us before the foundation of the world, or whether it is that we have the free will to choose him, or whether it's both, what it all comes down to is, 
Have I given my life to Christ? And if I have given my life to Christ, I am a follower of Christ. The rest of it we leave to God. And if someone has a different opinion on, than it, than us, it doesn't mean that they don't have a relationship with God. It, it doesn't mean that they are lost to the world. It, it doesn't mean any of that. It's not a salvation issue. And since the idea of whether we're predestined or whether we have free will is not a salvation issue, we just need to keep doing what God told us to do. We need to be chosen. We need to be the chosen race. We need to be the royal priesthood. We need to be the holy nation. We need to be a people for his own possession. And we need to proclaim the excellencies of him who called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. We need to tell the world about God and what he's done. That's the important part. Not whether we were chosen before or whether we have free will. The important part is the world is lost and they need to know God. That is where we need to go. That is what we need to focus on. Not the how God brought it all about. We need to focus on the what God has told us to do. So that's my encouragement to you today. Whether we are chosen or whether we have chosen it is a side issue that can be interesting to talk about. It can be interesting to study. But the main point is still going and making disciples. So make sure that as a part of your identity, as a part of being chosen, you are also helping others to find that identity that God has for them, that you're helping others to be chosen as well by proclaiming the things God has done in your life and sharing the good news with them. That That is the important part. So go and share the good news, love God and love people. And I hope that you get, get to see God working through that this week. Thanks and God bless.